Hi, it's Amy Pendleton, and we are back with my show. I just have another do-it-yourself here today. I actually had some requests for our little homestead to talk about my homestead planner. So last night I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning updating my binder so that way you guys you guys could see it. So now here I've, I'm on about four and a half hours of sleep. And, um, and I'm working on a cup of tea here. Mm -mm -mm. I have a few extra little items here that I'm going to show you. And today we're going to show you how I do this now and um, and I do have names of a lot of the ladies that are known for their um, you know like um, like this right here is VictoriaThatcher.com I find that I get a lot of stuff from her she's got some great things great things and I like her little flags and things like that as well that she makes I like her a little bit larger flags so that way I can tag things but different times of the year and different calendars so and then here's the autumn one isn't that pretty so this is just some ideas she's got some bible study uh scripture things in here too so uh anyway i'll leave that link to her site down below uh be sure and uh, give a victoria thatcher.com be sure and give her a look this is a shout out to victoria i want to thank her for um i mean she's been doing this for a little while she knows what she's doing and I've really learned a lot from her and so she is my prime source and there's many out there but she is one of my prime sources for the things that I've learned and she likes um, I don't know when I saw the cowboy one she's definitely when she sold me you know me and my cowboy hat so that's <laughs> I got sold so I've been doing this let's see I've been doing this for most of my life I have kept a journal on what I do day to day and in high school, they made you keep a journal. Remember high school when they made you keep a journal? So when you create your book, I want you to write down first. Read about your past history. Think about the things that you need in your daily life. Mine is God. Mine is Jesus Christ. I need it. I need it like I need water and like I need to breathe. I need it. Scripture and things like that's important. So I found that, let me find a page here for you. So I find that any of these types of papers that have beautiful scriptures and things like that on it, that really helps me. And I just put scriptures in mine. I, can, I had it sitting right here, I swear I did. Um, see, just things that have scripture, and that's from Victoria Thatcher again. And then up here at the top, when I get these uh, to print out, you can print them on stickers or just on paper. And then you can get sayings about you, like some people are worth melting for. That was for February. You know, just some different really pretty uh, pages here. And then you'll get some that have scripture and, and Bible time, like scripture reading, or he is the peace, tabs on uh, on Bible study day, stuff like that. So, you know, your, your, your book, your way, this is your planner. This is your life. You are the editor to your book to your future this is you this is your life but it is a daily weekly and monthly planner that I use and it has uh, there's gonna be a section in here that I can't show you because it has personal information in it like I said I've kept one of these um, most of my life but this one I think I'm proud of this one the most I think it's my prettiest one yet but everything in here has something to do with something that I need well, for everybody who knows me knows that I like to make things personal. So I do have my name here. This is Janie with a couple of hearts here and a little jewel there. And I just got everything here from the Dollar General Store. I did make a list of the things of where I got things. Um, and then I put on a couple of dragonflies. The actual folder here actually came from Walmart. And then... Everybody knows that I wear hair bands, so this gives me an extra hair band, plus it decorated up the cover of my book. And But, uh, but this is a new one, and I love the collar. And when I, I got a bunch of new ones, actually, and then I love the collar of this one, so I put it on the book. Now I have my prayer cloth and my hair band. Now you don't have to have a prayer cloth to pray, but I do. And I just, um, just me because, I don't know, I like to wear one. And then, um, that's why you always see them in my hair. I carry my prayer cloth with me wherever I go. 
and I just love I just love the paisley um, handkerchiefs don't you so that's what this is isn't that cute right here uh, you're wondering what, where my monkey I got my monkey I got my monkey at the same time I got my side letters here I found this in the clearance section at um, at Dollar General and what what it is and I've got this covered up with a piece of tape but what it is is it is a pair of fingernail trimmers see that it's a pair of fingernail trimmers they work really nice too and it's nice because you can see I keep my nails short but you know if the kids ever need it, it looks like he's wearing a little polka dot diaper there I just I covered this up with some of my wasi tape because I didn't want these edges to tear up the edges here or me to get cut on it with it flopping around and then here I don't have a lot of charms on mine but this just says believe on both sides and it's got my favorite collar it's got that blushish pink collar cut little fake jewel thing there and just and what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a couple of others that say you know love and faith and um, and a few things like that and maybe hope so maybe some more charms down the road I'm not you know I don't wear jewelry so I don't I'm not really into jewelry things but I do like charms and then um, and then there's that so that's what that's what's on this and if I ever need an extra key or something I can I got my key ring now this right here all right this is I just took some uh, decorative tape and a couple of those little bead things put here and then I use this tape to tape down this book now this book it was almost gonna be this one this book comes and I got it at Dollar General Store too it comes with a rubber band that's already built in and so you can see it's just a pad of paper that's all that it is I just took the tape took this off took the tape and I taped down and around that rubber band here and then that's how I kept it down okay pretty simple and then now if I just need some paper and I just need a flat writing surface like a writing lap board then I have it right here and I can just sit here and I can take notes and what have you right here and then my rubber band and you can see now how I actually tape this down cutting around the rubber band right here okay there we go all right and then again I just put on the dragonfly here dragonfly here I've got like a little leaf thing on the leaf there gave it a little sparkle a couple of little purple hearts here and then that washi tape I love that stuff there now I had a what did I do with it here I had a took and I cut this bag up here and on the bag it has the two string uh, handles here so I used all the parts off this bag and I used the strings and some more of this tape and I made a time bow for it you, I had toggles but they just wouldn't stretch that far they were hard to get in and out and I just like the idea of using a, a quick tie I mean I can just quickly tie it or I can quickly untie it okay and there's nothing on the back of this it's just it's just a three ring binder okay nothing fancy so you can decorate this up however you like it this is how I did it all right so now I have like a lap a lap desk here that's big enough for me just to turn it and write on it I got my hair piece I'm happy with the front very happy with the front so then I started working on the inside let me make sure that you're where you can see this now, I have idealisms that other people don't have of what I need here is that headscarf I'm just gonna pull it this way so you can see in here a little bit better don't want to put too much in here or it's hard for these things to fold to, uh, to go this way so I'll put that back here in just a minute now here I got one of those zip zipper things here and I got this one from Walmart and it just unzipped I took some more of this tape that I got from Dollar General the tapes came from Dollar General okay 
all of them did. They have a whole uh, section of tapes and stickers and things. And they even, I even got all these little uh, dragonflies and little twirly things, all the little stick-on things. I got all that from, um, I got all that from Dollar General as well. And I even got this from Dollar General. Now let's start here in the bottom left corner. Velcro. If you got to, things has got to come off and on, Velcro. And you're asking, Jane, what is this? Hmm, is that lipstick? Sure looks like lipstick, but it's not. It's actually a battery charger for my iPhone. and for other uh, things that I might need to charge that takes a USB. And you can make at least 15 phone calls with the charge on one of these, because we did it. We called everybody, texted for almost a half an hour before this thing failed. And you can charge it up, just plug it into your computer. Or if you want to plug it into another part, you can also plug it into your, um, your car battery, you know, into your cigarette lighter type, type thing. And then this piece right here. So, um, this thing right here, I've learned a long time ago, when your phone dies or anything start to have problems with your battery at the last minute, you need a phone charge or a phone call uh, for business reasons, and you're not near where you can plug in, uh, then right here, you've got an extra battery life for whatever. And by the way, I can plug my computer into this and my uh, Nook. So I can take this with me and even uh, read for half an hour on my Nook before that starts to die. So a half an hour charge is basically what you get out of that. A half an hour charge and boy that's enough to make an emergency phone call isn't it and I put this over here so when this closes it doesn't hit uh, all this stuff over here now here I took that bag that this is purple but I took the pink bag that matched see how these are purple that matched these and I cut a piece out and you can see here that it pretty much matched my tape collar I was pretty happy about that and so I taped that bag in there and I made me a little slot here for my calculator, a construction figure, you know, math, groceries. If I can take this with me to the grocery store. I mean, this works. And plus it holds my paper clips on for, for some other things here that I'm going to show you in a minute. Now here, I just taped on my pencil thing. And in here, I just have some multicolored pens. Now these multicolored pens, I'm going to explain to you in a minute what I use these for. They had to do with different projects that I'm doing. And I also have erasable ink uh, pens in here as well. And they are by Papermate. I got these at Kroger, at the Kroger store here in town. So they are eraser, erasable pens. Hard to find these days. You might have to go online to get it. A quarter. Now a quarter is to say that I will never be broke whenever I build a house. Or whenever I build a house for a client, I always throw my quarter in the concrete. And that way, uh, it's just like a little ceremony thing that we do. And it says that we will never be broke. So I uh, always keep a quarter with me so we can throw it in the concrete. <laughs> so, um, and or, I can even use it when I do my bread, my bread prayer. So quarters. And then, uh, I just keep an extra thing of washi tape with me and some of my my smiley face stickers here if you can see them um, a couple of small sticky notes some white out here white out tape and then there's the cord to my battery charger and then I just keep a couple of extra clips uh, in here as well and that's it you don't want to really keep a whole bunch of extra stuff because there's not a lot of extra room and my book is bigger than most people's book so um so yeah and then I just taped all that down with the tape and I mean, that works for me, okay? So now I'm gonna show you the other side. All right, we're back, this is the other side. This is just made with uh, wrapping paper. You could also use contact paper as well. And, um, and I, just glued, I just glued it on. If you make a mistake, by the way, some nice cover up at your home desk is nice. And then I just took and all those papers I showed you earlier that I cut out online from VictoriaThatcher.com. Uh, I'll put her link below. Then uh, you can just kind of decorate between your washi tapes 
and your different things you can just kind of you can just kind of decorate your your uh, your page you just kind of decorate it up for what you need you know put on it whatever you need to put on it and they sell stickers and different things as well all right so that was my first book cover I used more tape to make some tabs and then here you can see where I used some more wrapping paper and my washi tape and made that side I like to decorate things I think that's fun and then this is my construction uh, garden uh, section so just drawing my this year's gardens and my beehives my beehives will be in here and then my uh, potted plants we lost our garden section when they sold the land next to us and didn't accept our offer side lots uh, they wouldn't sell me the land I really thought they would but just wasn't the plan the Lord had for us I guess so this is going to be our garden so all of this is just some just some design work this is what I want to put in the garden since now I have a small garden I have to be really careful what I plant and so I have to know what I got to plant for the garden for what I'm going to can so this is my canning for 2017 and this is my garden plan and it's everything that I can put in his garden and then all of these things are some, just some of the things that I'm short on because I, I did my canning for this year and I, we've got tons of jars ready to go. <laughs> tons of jars because we ate almost everything that we made. So I've, that's a whole other list and that's going in here as well. So these are just landscape notes. Uh, this is the barn. This is going to be the vertical garden where the pickles are going to be. Pickles and carrots and peppers will be here. And then the other parts of the landscape. And then I'm just going to draft up all the other new flowers we added to the landscape. And then take notes. So that's what this section is. And then here I got this from Dollar General and then I just cut it cut it in half and then made it so it would go around here and then I just taped the edges and then this is drafting paper for any kind of house plans or any ideas that I might get for a room addition or something I don't know more garden plans that's there I always keep graph paper on me because I use it a lot um, here's another book that I took apart that was a calendar you can see it still says 2017 on here and I just remade it I made it work but I used it for a divider and then here I didn't need I bought a whole book this whole book oops sorry I keep hitting you okay this whole book this whole calendar book came with all these calendar pages well I didn't need all that so I took that out because these binder rings are really small and I only have so much room and I want to add my thing to it so I kept the basic calendar and that's what this is this page here um, January I already took out of here because it's over and it made me room for other things so I took January out I put a paper clip on it and put it up into the box so I have a separate box that I keep for all my supplies then I have another box that I keep and I just clip a little paper clip on here or some sort of clip like this right here depending how thick it is and then I'll put it up into the um, up into the storage box above my head here and then if I need to go back and find something that I did on a certain day or it for tax purposes or whatever or some personal information I've got access to it um, this is my donations page and everything I want to do for donations things I want to make things I'm sending out, the hospital visits for the year, and then our prayer circle. Our friends that are in our prayer, prayer circle. And, um, and I'm always adding and changing this. So that's where whiteout comes. When people get better, I still pray for them, but... And this is my pride and joy. This has been my favorite page so far. This is where I just love that victoriathatcher.com. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is February. This is my February so far. And I've just taken and I just cut little things out, you know, and, and, and glue them on. Little Elmer's glue, a little glue onto here, and then I just smooth it down. And then I just add it to it as I see it. But I still leave room for me to write what I need to write. So that's what I like about her things, because she has like stickers like you can add on here, and there's still room to write. And I like that. And then, of course, she's got the little journals. And every month I'm going to add a little journal here when I'm supposed to update my journal. Huh. So you just layer it. Like, this is all layered. This isn't one picture. These are just pictures that I found off her site. And I just, I layered everything. And I just have fun with it. Absolutely have fun with it. These are the things that I like. 
I love my rose garden, so that represents my rose garden. I like the Victorian era, so it's very Victorian, and this is why, uh, Victorian and I, this is why I like her, her, her site. All right, so, so now you can kind of see, and then you just use different color of pens for different things uh, that you're doing. And then over here is always a, a writing section over here. This has my weight loss on it for the month. And then we're getting ready to go into March, and I've already got it done. I know I need to get my writing done, so that reminds me that i got to get my my book, another four chapters of my book done. Um, I'd like to get another four chapters of my book done by the 18th. And, oh, I can do it. I can do it in two days, but i got a lot going on. And then this just reminds me that I want to have a good weekend, and this leaves me prayer notes. These, when I'm losing weight, get it done, you know, get get things done. Let's do this is my weight goal, lost one. Then here I have scripture, and then here this says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. Um, uh, Psalm uh, 2874, uh, I think is that one. Yeah, 76, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm not wearing my reading glasses. That is very fine print for me. I should have enlarged it, but... I needed a place here and of course we know March is St. Patty's Day so right here we have our little St. Patty's couple <laughs> it says I hope you will feel so gay and happy you'll put on the Irish hat <laughs> and then we have a little saying up here it says winners make a habit of manufacturing their own positive expectations in advance of the event and that's what this is about this is me and so when people ask me how I get so much done this is how I do it this is this this part right here tells me how my day went and what did I get done that's what this is about this part this isn't my daily to-do list this is just what I did for the day I got my Fitbit fixed um, I was able to do 20,000 steps here the blue shows my steps the Fitbit and the purple and then I edited on videos and then I started my uh, diet and my exercise program started the next day and then my family dinner and vlog was on Saturday and then how much weight I lost and then this day right here which is today is my journal day so I know this is why I'm filming this today and then I have some cherry pit packs I have to make and send off to uh, people who uh, have concussions so I've got those the cherry pits are in and I've got that video on here by the way so just go into my search button and you can see how to make cherry pit packs okay it's already I've already made the video soups I've already made that video and it's just let me see if I can get this up to you closer so you can see it. Isn't that just beautiful? And then in this corner here, I have scripture, 1 Corinthians 13. And all right, um, and then here, I want to show you that I made these flags. And this flag just says February, and on the back side, it says March. So I did green on this side and pink on this side. And that's what I like about her things is because she has in these sheets... Uh, she has the little flags and things that you need uh, to make to make these it's like she was reading my mind and so I just glue those in there on both sides scripture reading here I don't know what scripture that's going to be and like I showed you last month when I get the scripture of the month when I come into the month I'll pick the scripture on the first of the month now the first of the month this is what I do I know at the first of the month John and I have our and it's important so I'll put it here in purple um, John and I have our um, we have our financial meeting it's the first of every month no, I was right the first there um, we have our financial meeting and I know that that's going to take one hour and then we discuss everything this meeting's just between John and I and this is where we discuss taxes, uh, our paychecks, uh, how we're doing, what we want our future to look like, where we're going to save for vacations, where we spent money that we, sh we could have saved money, um, how to, how to uh, fit in me doing my videos and him putting in his books, and then still being able to go on our trips and do the things that we want to do. Remember, John's retired, so um, uh, his pay is a military retirement paycheck. Plus, he's writing books, so um, so he's got his thing going, too. So we have to come together on our schedules. So John has a schedule, and this is what I give him. The inserts that I took out, and then he can make notes. 
and then he can write on his up here he might say like if this says March 1st he'll put his as a meeting and then here he'll put this is where we're going to go to the grocery store and this is where Jane and I are leaving on our trip and then he's got the same schedule that I've got okay so that's that and I hope that this uh, is doing it justice and then here's April so here I did the same thing I got the March shamrock there and this one right here says winners make a habit of manufacturing their own positive expectations in advance of the event so that's calendar like you know what I mean I picked out sayings that would inspire me to think ahead and to do the right thing and like this is April so April showers brings May flowers so now I'm going to show you how I do this so I've just got a couple of things here here I've got to cut out here let's put one right here all right, here, I'll do this one right here. I know that I have to do my, um, I'm going to trim this up. And I know that I have to work on my journal on one of the last days of the month. And this is April. And then right here is the 30th over here. But this fits it. I could put the little thing down here in the corner, but this actually fits right here. So I'll put it right here. And make that my journal day and I'll overlap this other one so I'll just this dries really quickly and you just want to put it on here really quickly to the corners to the corners and there you go and I know that this is my journal and I know this is a day of journaling so I'll just write right on here journal There you go. And then I just start layering things. I don't want to cover up that it's Earth Day. So, and I don't want to cover up this because I want my notes section. And I put little stickers up here. You got the elephant on the ball. You got the girl here in her, uh, in her umbrellas to show it's spring. But I want the April showers brings May flowers theory. So here we're going to have the showers and then I'm going to put, you know, more, fl more floral stuff over up in here so here I'll just I'll just add this uh, hello one here real quick see where do we want to put hello how about if we make him saying hello how about that there you go hello now, now my elephant's telling me hello see that kind of thing it's very personal to me and and I like her stuff because you can use it to write you can use it to write so you can put a line here and still to get get two days of writing here okay oops my fingers have glue on them and of course you can put a few flowers hanging around here and there and you can kind of build yourself up like a little collage which is no big deal see there's no dates here so you could have some fun up in here so let's do that let's have some fun up in this top part let's put our flowers right here You're thinking she's rough on that, but maybe a little. But you got to be fast with it. Smooth it down, get any bubbles out, and there you go. And then um, some of them have where you can actually write on them. So I mean, you can slip something like that in. I don't want to do it there, but you certainly could uh, do some things like that and do that so you could actually write smaller and get more lines if you actually put that there what do you think I kind of like that idea so let's put that on there there you go and you just build it up Oops, got it on crooked. Be quick pulling it back off and on. And the glue dries really quickly, so. There you go. And if you did a corner that's not coming down, then you just do this right here. And then you smooth that glue out to the side, and there you go. It's down. And that's how that I do that. 
And then um, I'll probably do my other little scripture piece here. And you can use, you know, whatever you like. This is, I love this. This is going to be my summer one. Isn't that beautiful? This is going to be my fall one. I've already taken a few things out of there. And then you can make stars and flags and clips for the top with those. Here's Autumn. And I like that they have the typewriters to remind me to keep working on my book. And then scriptures that go someplace else because that's too big. And then just all kinds of beautiful pieces here. There's your Instagram things to remind you for Instagram. I use those actually to remind me of YouTube. <laughs> Just reminds me to take pictures and like if it's a video or a filming day, then I will do that. Um, we got all kinds of them here. When you travel, I've got them for traveling. Um, the sayings that I get from across the top, you can get off of her site as well. You know, I just kind of cut them out and put them across the top. You can put them wherever you want. Here's the, the Irish ones. Here's some of my favorite ones here. I like to put a bird here and there on there. Um, dragonflies. Again, you just print these off or you can get the stickers. But here again is the flag. And these are the two flags that go back to back that you can put here. And what I do is I'll do one of these for the front. And then the next month I'll use that flag for the back. So March is green for St. Patty's Day. But January was a soft pink. And then of course I love bees. So grateful, peace, and love. The prospect of righteous is joy. And then of course you've got you know some more summer ones here there's another bee when I cut something out of that one and then here's some more of the writings so I mean you got scroll work there's all kinds of things that you can add see I got more journals here to add more typewriters more tops for your clips if you want them some um, get her done you know some support ones and then just little sayings like this to fill in the blanks and I mean just just some beautiful beautiful work that she does and um, and it just goes on and on like that and there's some more scriptures and then Christmas time so I mean and uh, it cost me to, to print that much off it cost me about forty dollars to print all of these off because I used up well about twenty dollars because I used up all the ink the color ink <laughs> when I did that but I, these will last me all year and probably most of next year and the following year. So once you, like me, once you start establishing your, um, your stickers and things, then you pretty much are established. I mean, you don't really have to print off that many after your first initial printing off. And um, then you just start building things up. Like I don't have a weekend sticker here. I still got to do a weekend sticker. All right. So that's how I build it up. So now we're going to move on to the next, and, I, and you can see here I haven't done May yet. you got to leave some, some of the fun. And like I said, I got rid of all these center uh, pages that were in here, and I gave them to John because it was really making my, uh, my thing too thick, and I didn't need that. So now let's move on. These are all pre-tabbed. I got a book that was pre-tabbed and took it out of the original book. And then I used the covers of that book for my tab div dividers and I think in the back of this there's a note yeah here's another calendar that I can refer to for what day of the week and what day it is and then I just tape that to that for the rest of the calendar and then here's an events page so if I have some special events coming up like a concert or something or a chapel visit or something I can put those here and then right here are special holiday dates so I can add these back over onto the calendar if I want to they're already there uh, or I can also fill in the blanks and put birthdays and birthday dates down this center, which I have done. And then I go back through and put them on the calendar, just so I don't forget. And if you want to, you can even have a stack of birthday cards pre-made and, uh, and set into a basket like I do right over here. I got some pre-made uh, birthday cards. I've got all my birthday cards and holiday cards already ready to go, stamped and ready to put in the drop mailbox the day that it's time to do it. So I may not just not have time that day. Now see these two pages right here coming apart? If that happens, a little bit of glue. Just a little bit of glue. Okay. This one's hope, faith, and love. And I just did it with some foam. 
uh, letters here. You might have to make your own. Like this right here was a T and I cut it off to get another I. And then I thought, and then I just made the washi tape. And then here is everything about my Bible timelines and all of my Bible studies and, and papers that I found and all my feast, Jewish feast and holiday papers. So this is all biblical stuff in here and all study guides that I like to keep with me. Sometimes I have questions about the timelines of when things happened. You know, or you get an epiphany and you need something. Um, I think my light's getting ready to go out here. Okay, so um, this is obviously my food section. So... <laughs> So any ideas for videos for food, that goes there. And then I jeweled this up. And I got all these right here from uh, the Dollar General store. The love folder. Sorry, some more tickets here. Some more tape for tabs. And I'll write on there what they are. Now this is the important one. Oh, yeah, right here in the very back. Just put that on with some washi tape. And then right here. Um, for my drafting part and when I'm doing my drawings of my landscape. Then I have a ruler. Now the soft part goes on here so that I can slide it easily. And then I just put it like that. Just in there nice and tight. So I have a ruler with me. Now this part is the part I use the most and I use every day. And when we come back, I'm going to show you this. It's going to be a separate video. This is my today's to-do list and how I do that. Every day I do this. Oops, they're clamped together. My weekly to-do list uh, pages. I have some extras of those. And then my meal planning. So these are three videos that I'm going to be having coming up here in just a few minutes. And here I already have a meal plan that's already up and going. Okay, groceries, uh, chores, um, grocery list, how I figure that out and how I save money on my groceries. And people ask me how I get, this all came to, because the original questions were everybody kept asking me, how do I get everything done in a day that I get done? Well, this is how I do it. These are my to-do list, all right? And when we come back, we're going to show you that. I hope you have enjoyed this episode on how to make a daily planner, a homesteading planner. Make it yours. If you have a farm and there's uh, animal records you need to keep in it, you can do that as well. If you need more than one and you need your husband or your, one of your kids to keep one for whatever, for school projects, then this is, this is how I do it. And I use different pins and different uh, color codes of pins that mean different things. And we're going to go over that next, okay? And I have lots of stickers and things that I can give myself smiley faces like when I lose my weight. I give myself little smiley stickers. Um, again, you'll want to use the erasable pen. And then just washi tape. You can get it at the dollar store pretty cheap. And some tape like this or this. Alright, so you can invest in some things. And then if you want letters, the dollar store had this. And you can even do your own collaring inside like I did. Okay, and I got that from the dollar general store for three dollars all right so now to maintain this all i need is a couple of colored pins and a couple of colored uh, highlighters and i'm able to maintain this easily all right this is chef and builder janie pendleton uh, we love you uh, be sure and go and grab yourself some supplies you don't have to put a lot of money into this you can just get a simple leather bound planner and you can kind of add some pockets and some things to it I went out and got my own bling. This came from the Dollar General store too. So, and this did too. So, anyway, from fingernail trimmers to an extra headband to the quarter, so I'll never be broke. To um, to dream more, I got this the dream more piece here. I got at the Dollar General, and I got the outside book from Walmart. And of course, anybody can get these little sacks. And uh, Dollar General for all the washi tape. And they had all kinds of stickers and things for, you know, a dollar each, which is fun. And I think you can influence your children to, to get used to journaling. And I think that's important. All right. Be sure and like and share this video. All right. Let others come in on our homesteading journey so that we may share our lives and our times together. Remember, we love to learn from you as much as we love to teach you. Remember, dream more and dream big. We love you. 
go with God. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Blessings. Oh, and I forgot to show you this. Look at that. It's an ice pack thing. It said it was a drink holder, but I knew when I saw it what it was. It's an, you put the little ice in here. This was a dollar. This was a dollar. You put the ice in here. It's waterproof. And you got a kid with a toothache or just had a surgery on his tonsils or, or like a little, you know, little knee or a hand pain or whatever or a little black eye, busted nose. Here you go. You put your uh, water and ice right in here and it keeps it just the right temperature to put on you. And I got this for my migraines. And uh, I've never seen these out anywhere. And they're just so cute. They're just so cute I had to have one. All right. Dollar General. In the clearance aisle is where I found mine. We love you. Go with God. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really do. And if you want to see more videos like this, then write me below and let me know. All right? Love you. Blessings.